A Welsh Lamb. Richard Brown. Illustrated by Patricia Ludlow. When we lived in Wales, I went for long walks with my brother, Keith. One day, we heard a strange noise. It was like a baby. Crying. Keith, what's that? I whispered. We stopped and listened. We walked towards the noise and it got louder. Then we found it. It was a lamb, a little lamb all alone. Where is its mother? I asked. Keith said, I don't know. I'll look for her. I stayed with the lamb. One stroked it and talked to it. Keith came back. He couldn't find the lamb's mother. The lamb was very young, only a few hours old. Let's take it home with us, said Keith. It'll die here all. Alone. Keith carried the lamb in his arms. It was like a baby. I wanted to look after it. Our mom loved animals. She carried the lamb into the living room. Get a blanket, mom said to Keith. The lamb stood on the blanket and looked at the fire. At first it was afraid. But then it lay down. Keith brought our dog, Judy, to see the lamb. She growled. Then she wagged her tail and licked the lamb. Judy and the lamb lay on the blanket together. What's your lamb's name? Mom asked me. Snowy, I said. We gave Snowy warm milk. She liked it. The lamb got bigger. Judy looked after her. Snowy was like her puppy. One day, Mom said to Dad, should we find Snowy's real mom? Keith and I were surprised and worried. But Dad said, no. Snowy lives here now. Thanks, Dad, I said. I hugged Snowy. Sometimes, before I went to bed, I sat with Snowy and talked to her. Snowy got bigger and bigger. One day, Dad said, she should live in the shed now. But Snowy will be cold and alone in the shed, I said. Okay, said Dad. But you can clean up the mess. So each morning Keith and I came down early to clean up the mess and open the windows. Snowy liked to run in the grass. She liked